The girls' basketball sectional final has become a yearly business trip for Bennett Academy, with the Red Wings back in it for a fourth consecutive season. They take on upset-minded Wabonzi Valley, who is making their first sectional final appearance since 2010. Warriors start off strong with Kalia Reed passing to freshman sensation Daniela Porcoso, who just catches and shoots the three to give Wobanzi a 6-4 lead. Then Hannah Lobb is in that same spot, and she banks in the three to help the Warriors get off to an 11-4 start. Later on, Lene Bobon turns on scoring mode, and that's trouble for any defender. Sadie Sturbenz tries to get a bucket, she misses, but Bobon is there in the right place getting the rebound and put back to cut the deficit to 14-12. Warriors keep on flooring it, and Reed is the one sinking the three ball. New quarter, same Bobon, but she wants to shoot from three as well, and bingo, you shouldn't be surprised at this point. With Beaumont being guarded, that just leaves the door open for Lindsay Harzich, who gets a nice flutter to go with the spin. That one gives Bennett a 23-21 lead. Now they want to remain on the good side of the score. Maggie Solarski helps the cause by floating one in of her own. As we approach the break, the Warriors get a much-needed three from Porcoso. They trail by four at halftime. Come second half, Bennett turns on dominance mode, starting with Sam Trimberger getting her own board and put back. That makes it 38-31. Trimberger is not done yet. She gets the pass from her best friend Beaumont, and yeah, we knew that lane was coming. Red Wings extend their lead to 43-31. Taylor Curry is trying to keep Dub V in it. She drives through the defense and gets the shot to go plus the foul. Warriors trail 47-39 early in the fourth. However, good luck stopping Bobot because she keeps on scoring to add on to her 21-point night. Lindsay Harzic ends the highlight with another lay-in that looks too easy for her. Bennett Academy with another dominating win helps them to the sectional title with a 58-47 win over Wabonzi Valley. Up next is the Super Sectionals against Kenwood at Hinsdale Central. We just kept working hard and we adjusted on defense and just like closed out on their shooters as best as we could. Any game in the playoffs, you got to be prepared. Like you never know what's going to happen. It's not really the best team that wins. It's the best team that day is what Coach said. So, um, Lebanzi is a great team. They got a lot of young talent, a lot of good seniors. So we had to come ready to play. They gave us a tough first quarter. I don't think they missed a single three, but. Um, once we got going, it was good from there. Uh, just any game, really. You just got to come in game ready and focus. It's big, you know. As seniors, you never want it to be your last game. So continuing to get these games and also like showing the younger classmen what it's like to get to these big environment, big games is really huge and will help them down the line, too. This team came a long way. I mean, a lot of teams underestimated us because we was, we was a small team. Uh, we, we proved a lot of them wrong. We got this far. Uh, I couldn't take them more. I'm extremely proud of this team, like no words can describe it. I walked in here and I had no idea like I would become family to these girls and I'm very like proud of myself for making that decision to come here and I've like nothing just explains how proud I am because they're going to make it far like even like this season was so special but the previous scenes like when they're older they're going to be so good and I'm just going to be so proud of them even when I'll be in college. Like I'm always going to try to come back to watch these group of girls. I love this team. Um, I'm going to miss it. Uh, sad it had to end this way, but great season. I'm just excited for the environment every time. I mean, when I, when I was younger watching the games, when I played in it last year, it's just an awesome environment to be in for girls basketball. Um, whoever it is, we'll be ready. Just got to give our best shot and see what happens.